All right, we're going to test the frequency response of this Hitachi. I'm connected up right now from a signal generator to my channel one input only. And I'm displaying a signal that is a low frequency signal coming in. And it is uh, running full scale four divisions up vertical and four divisions down vertical at about a five millivolt per division scale. Um, <clears throat> I'm using the times 10 probe uh, because when you're dealing with uh, high frequency response on this scope, you're expected to have the high input impedance. So I needed this. I needed the probe. The probe will cause the uh, the vertical input to be one tenth of what it could have been displayed at, but you'll get much better frequency response. In any case, what we're looking for, as I swing my frequency up. On my generator. At first I don't want to see any uh, any variation in the height of this of this uh, signal and that's because the scope is, is basically flat up until some fall-off point and at that cutoff point then you start to fall off uh, and you'll be about three decibels down at its rated 15 megahertz uh, um, bandwidth. So I'm going to keep raising it up here, and eventually you'll notice that it's falling off. Now, it is falling right now, but very slowly. But we'll pick up speed as we get closer to the frequency. Now, you see it falling faster. And I want to go 2.8 divisions. That's the magic number for 3 dB. I'm going, going. There's, I'm up to 3 divisions, and then we go to 2.8 right about there. 2.8 divisions up and down. So now, and I can I can make that look more like a uh, a signal. Okay, but the question is, what frequency am I running at? Well, this is where the counter comes in. I don't have the counter connected right now. The reason I don't have it connected is that counter might interfere with the frequency response of the scope because it has capacitance on it. So I've left it off, but at this point now, I know that my output frequency has caused my scope to fall off to the 0.28 divisions, excuse me, 2.8 divisions out of the 4, which is 3 decibels. And I want to see what frequency that, that happened at. Well, it happened at 16 megahertz, 15.999 something. So we are getting our actually about a megahertz better in frequency response than what it's rated at on channel a we should do the same thing for channel b just to be safe let's disconnect our counter once again we'll reduce our uh, signal back down to the low frequencies where we see the uh, flat response and let's move our probe from channel one channel 2 let's put our trigger on channel 2 so well okay so now we're set up for channel 2 and uh, <clears throat> what we want to do once again we're going to start with ourselves Raising the frequency response, and we'll see that the signal stays flat, four up and four down, until we hit the frequencies at which we start to fall off. And we see now that we are beginning to fall. We are down, here's 3.2, there's 3.0, 2.8, right about there. Okay, so now the question is, what frequency is that at? Let's look at the counter. And again, we're about 16 megahertz, 16.3 in this case. You've always got to allow a very small margin of error for my ability to be able to discern the difference between 2.8 and 2.82 or something like that. But it's 16 megahertz. So once again, we've proven that both channels 
have a have exceeded their 15 megahertz rating which is good the scope is good let's move on okay as a demonstration of the xy capability i've got the uh, i've got two different generators feeding signals into the scope here one signal on the channel one and one signal on the channel two and uh Channel two right now is set up. It's they're set up in the X Y position. We've we've turned our time division to X Y scale. We've chosen X Y on channel two here, and uh, and what we're observing is a Lissajou figure. And uh, this particular Lissajou figure would indicate that both signals are synchronized and at ex at approximately the same frequency, with a very slow variation. And uh, Right now, we are running at uh, at approximately uh, oh, I don't know 50 some hertz. We'll know here in a moment. Our uh, our counter is uh, all right. So 49.8 hertz is what we're running at on average. Listen to figures like this in order to be stable. Typically, have to be low frequency, but. Uh, so now I know that I'm running at 50. If I was to turn this up to 100, we would see the Lissajou pattern change to the double lobe along the horizontal axis as we get closer. And uh, there we go. We can see it right now. There's the double lobe. So we are right now running about 100 hertz on, on the... Uh, channel 2 the x-axis and we're running 50 on channel on the y-axis anyway indicates that the uh, xy is working I just wanted to show that to you okay so the scope is in really good working order good looking and includes a manual uh, operation manual that takes the user through uh, specifications, how to use the uh, the unit to do different tests, um, and some simple calibration adjustments, and uh, also includes uh, some circuit diagrams um, as well. So, good luck, good bidding, and uh, thank you for listening.